what is going on guys welcome back to another video of chat application development series in android studio so in last video we implemented the search user functionality where we can search for the user with the username we have got the list of user where this is my user and this is other user so on click of this we should go to chat activity and start the chat so let's implement that so here we have item view on click listener navigate to chat activity so let's create chat activity first go to package activity empty activity chat activity let's close everything and open chat activity and activity chat so we will design the screen first let's make it a relative layout so here first we require the toolbar let's go to search activity and grab the toolbar from there this is our relative layout copy it and paste it over here so here we have this toolbar instead of instead of search user it will be username whom we are chatting with and we have back button back button is required and we will add one profile picture view over here so we'll include one layout that we have created profile picture view so it is here we'll give the width as 48 dp height as also 48 dp we will give the margin start that will be 10 dp and we will set it to right of back button so it will look like this and username should be right of this profile picture view let's give the id to this profile picture view profile picture layout and it should be right of profile picture layout so it will look like this now we required message box over here and send button and recycler view to show all the messages so let's first add recycler view over here so let's minimize this toolbar and add recycler view width will be match parent height will be match parent it will be below toolbar and now let's create one layout where we will have message and send button so for that i will use relative layout width will be match parent height will be 80 dp parent bottom will be true and i will give padding about 8 dp so this is our relative layout i will give id to this bottom layout and this recycler view should be above our bottom layout as you can see recycler view is in between toolbar and bottom layout so let's design this bottom layout where we will have first one is edit text width will be match parent height will be wrap content will give hint write message here center in parent will be true margin we will give about 10 dp background will be edit text rounded corner elevation about 4 dp and padding about 10 dp so this is our right message here now let's put send button over here so we'll use image button let's create a drawable icon first new vector asset send i will use this icon icon send next finish so here i will use image button 48 dp source will be our icon send parent end will be true center in parent will be true background will be attribute borderless selectable background and tint will be my primary let's make an app tint let's give id to this message send a button and this edit text will be to left of message send button padding about 8 dp and margin with margin start 10 dp so it is looking good so that's it our chat screen is ready we can go to this recycler adapter adapter recycler adapter here from this screen we will go to chat screen so here we should pass the intent so intent intent is equal to new intent context to chat activity dot class so here we can start directly activity with context before that we have to pass intent dot set flags intent dot flag activity new task let's run it and test it how it is looking let's search for the user test let's click on this test user one if i click on this we are in the chat screen where we can write the message and send but functionality is not working right now we have this username but we don't want the username it should be the actual username that is test user one so we have to pass some data with that intent so let's do that from here intent we will pass the data of that user we have this user that is model we can pass it like intent dot put extra username and everything but i don't want to do that i will do it on android utils so that we can use it later let's go to android util i will create a method public static void 
pass user model as intent here it will take intent and user model what i will do i will put extra username model dot get username dot put extra phone model dot get phone put extra user id user id model dot get user id so that's it now we can pass the user model as intent so from here android util dot pass user model as intent will pass intent and model in this way in this intent it will set all the details so that we can access it in chat activity so to access from here let's create a user model other user here how we can access we can access through intent so let's create method for that public static user model get user model from intent 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 so from intent we will create a user model that will be user model user model new user model now we'll set everything user model dot set username we'll get from intent dot get string extra username same way we will do for set phone set user id here it will be phone whatever we have passed over here user id return user model so we'll get that model from the intent so here get user model so other user equals to get android util get user model from intent that will be get intent so in this way we have got data in this other user now go to activity dot chat and set id for everything so for this username i will set id other user name for profile picture we already have the id so for this edit text message edit text we will set id as message input let's say chat message input and this button id we have already message send button so let's go to chat activity and create edit text message input image button send message button image button back button and we have text view text view other username now we'll set the id message input r dot id dot chat message input send message button r dot id dot send message send button back button r dot id dot back button other username r dot id dot other username we also have recycler view so recycler view recycler view r dot id dot recycler view also id we have not given for this recycler view id will be chat recycler view so here chat recycler view now we will set the back button functionality first bad button dot dot set on click listener same way we have done on search activity on back pressed and we'll set the other username dot set text from other user dot get username so from this we got the username and set it to other username let's run it and test it search if you go to this user you can see username over here and if i click on back that is also working so that's all for this video in next video when we come to this activity we will check if chat room is available that means we have already chatted if chat room is not available please create the chat room so we'll add that functionality so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye